Hey, what's up? I hope you're doing super well. Welcome back to the channel. So when I started this channel over six years ago, my one goal was to reduce the failure rate in the real estate industry one agent at a time. And my plan to do that was to share everything that helped me become the number one agent in my market with as many agents as I could for free, but also to try to educate agents on how market shifts work and how to take advantage of a market shift. You see, in 2008 when the market crashed, I lost everything. And what I learned through that moment of having to leave real estate, go back to roofing, working on an oil rig, sleeping in my car, eating out of people's refrigerators, going bankrupt, and then coming back into real estate in 2008 um, to eventually become the number one REMAX agent in the state of Alabama for many years, everything that I learned through that moment, I thought, man, if I could just share the simplicity of the reality of the situation in terms of how markets operate um, and share that with enough agents before the next crash or the next shift, the next recession happens. And before we get into that, I just wanna take a moment to thank everybody who supports me, watches the channel, follows me on all the other platforms, comes to all my events and everything else under the sun. I just wanna say I'm humbled and I just appreciate you so much and I'm glad that a piece of my content somewhere has helped transform your business. I get DMs and messages all day, every day, telling me that you're selling 100 properties a year. I've had so many agents who have told me that they're selling 100 properties a year off of what I've shared on this channel and the rest of my social media platform. So if you're new to the channel, I just want you to understand that I'm just trying to share everything that I've learned over the last 20 years as a real estate agent with you for free so that hopefully you can go out there and crush it faster than I did. And if you're not already subscribed, now would be a good time to do so. Click the like button while you're at it and join me on December 9th 5 p.m. Eastern for my 2023 business planning session. That's gonna be virtual, so just go to the link in the description, register for that, and I'm so, this is gonna be a really, I do this every year. I revamp my entire Zero to Diamond program for you, and I do a, a annual um, business planning in December every year. And this one, guys and ladies and gentlemen, is gonna be one for the record books in terms of putting your plan in place and getting fired up to get out there and execute in 2023. So the first reason that you're gonna crush it in 2003 is because if you've been listening to what I say, you're thinking long-term and you're gonna take next year and you're gonna massively add to your database. So this is gonna be the year of database growth for you. And that is AKA market share. Market share is not how many transactions you're doing, listings you have compared to the rest of the market this year. Market share is how many real relationships that you have in place with people in your market, primarily property owners in your market. So if you go out there and create relationships, create great first impressions and have that remarketing mechanism on the back end through a weekly email on the same day of the week forever, and you're massively adding to that database next year while all the other agents are laying down, quitting the business, so on and so forth, you're going to not only crush it next year in terms of your production in the next year, but you're planting the seeds of explosion over the next two, three, four, five, six years. So if you're thinking long-term here and you're thinking about 2026, 2027, you're really grinding hard day to day to really plant massive amount of seeds for that 2026 or seven to explode, then number one, you're not worried about 2023, but number two is a byproduct of all that energy you're going to close a lot of transactions. So you're actually killing two birds with one stone here. You're satisfying your now business today, but you're also planting seeds for your later business, 2024, five, and six. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you build a huge business, and it's what I did. 2008, I went all in. And by 2014, I was selling 100 properties a year based on what I did in 2008, 9, 10, and 11. Those were the years where I acquired market share, relationships with property owners in my market, that planted the seeds that I harvested in 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 
I did 100 deals a year each of those years as a single agent because of what I did during the recession. Generational wealth is built during times like this. So why would you be scared? Why would you think, oh no, you should be thinking, yes, this is our moment. The second reason why you're gonna crush it next year is because Despite of all the negative headlines and all the gurus telling us it's gonna crash harder than 2008, the market is gonna be just fine. I already have tons of videos I've posted over the last couple of weeks sharing with you the real data for what all the entities think is gonna happen over the next year um, from the Mortgage Bankers Association, from NAR, from Fannie Mae, from Realtor.com. All of these entities are calling for 5.4% mortgage rates next year, then 4.5 the next year, 4.5 the year after that. They're all, except for Fannie Mae, calling for four and a half to five million transactions, somewhere in that ballpark, which ladies and gentlemen, is a normal year. Six million transactions last year, not a normal year. 4.5, normal year. But here's the cool thing, and this is what I want you to really understand, is that it doesn't matter, even if it goes to three and a half million, three million, it doesn't matter. Your job and what I want you to focus on in terms of conversion with your customers and your, your prospects is just making a connection. When you can make a connection and you can do that at a high frequency across many, many, many prospects in your market every day, regardless of how you're getting these leads and how you're, what your lead generation methods are, right? We can talk about that, but I don't think that that's the biggest, you know, you have to find what works for you, but it needs to get you in front of prospects at a very high frequency, whereas you can get to know them, let them get to know you, find out what it is they wanna do, why they wanna do it, when they wanna do it. Once you have that, then you can create a game plan to help them do it. So for me, the conversion is not the listing appointment, it's not getting a contract signed. For me, the conversion is just that I had a great conversation, really felt a connection with this person, and I was able to ask them real estate related questions. You know, what are you looking to do over the next year or two? How can I help you? Do you have an agent you normally work with? Would it be okay if I stayed in touch? What is your email? What is your cell phone? Great those kind of questions. Now, if you're just gonna lay down and just not make calls anymore, not generate leads anymore, not follow up with people anymore because you think, oh, nobody's doing anything, then you're not going to do anything yourself. Whatever you think about expand. So if you think the market is bad, if you think nobody's doing anything, then that's gonna to continue to expand in your mind and completely take your entire mental capacity over. And then you're just paralyzed by this world that you created that's so far from reality, it's not even funny. There's going to be four and a half million transactions next year. The question is, is are you going to get out there and work hard to help Help these people who need your help to buy and sell real estate. They need you. And the cold, hard, simple fact is that closings happen every single day. They have happened every day of your entire life, regardless of any market recession, downturn, crash, and they will continue to happen by the truckloads every single day for the rest of your life regardless of market condition. So there's no way that you can lose in this business. There's unlimited potential to do as many deals as you wanna do, regardless of the market, why? Because you are a microscopic dot that you can't even see in the entire realm of the industry. Even when you look at just your local market, you're a microscopic dot compared to the overall volume that, that happens every year, no matter what. And the third reason that agents are gonna crush it next year is because of the fact that so many agents are leaving the business, it's gonna give this allure that there are more transactions per agent. That's what we're gonna see next year. So many agents are gonna leave the business that we're gonna see the number, the average transactions per agent actually go up next year. But here's the thing, the agents that are leaving the business, they were never even real estate agents to begin with. Yeah, they got their license during the pandemic, but they never did a deal. They never competed against you on a listing appointment. They never showed a house, nothing. NAR came out and said 800,000 agents haven't even closed a deal this year. Now, what do you think when annual dues come up January 1st, and then there's more dues that come up and after the first quarter, what do you think is gonna happen 
in the first quarter and second quarter of next year, we're going to lose hundreds of thousands of real estate agents. Now, my question is, how many agents are going to be jumping into the business at that same time? Will we lose hundreds of thousands, but also gain hundreds of thousands? Will we be, will we be at a net negative? Because we've been nothing but net positive for years and years and years and years since the Great Recession. And during the Great Recession, by the way, we lost over 300,000 agents during that time. And I'm talking about net. So the numbers will yet to be seen, but I feel like next year is going to be less crowded. It's going to have this, you're going to be, you're going to have this feeling like you can actually spread your wings here and spread out and stretch and and get out there and do your thing. So even though I don't even believe these agents have even stepped into the industry outside of getting their license, I still believe that taking their names off the roster is gonna give this allure to, to the rest of the agents that, hey, you know, there's less of us and then there's more business out there per agent. Let's go out there for the ones that are still standing and let's go get it, even though it's not even true. The fact is, if you take the active agents who are actually closing deals this year and you look at how many transactions per agent we got going on in that department and exclude all the agents that haven't sold a single house as those agents leave the industry the income and average transaction per agent of the active agent really stays the same nevertheless there's your three reasons why you're going to go out there and crush it next year i want everything in the world for you not to quit this business if you do have to leave real estate don't let your license go don't give up on your dream keep pushing i had to leave the business for a while i kept my license i kept pushing i eventually got back into the business it's okay if that happens this is a long long journey and you have to enjoy the process and i know you enjoy the process so when with that, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. We'll see you guys on the next video. Let's go.